Shalom, Israel. Most high in Christ. Bless. I'm Captain Soraya. And to my side here. Officer Eliakim. All praise the most high. And we'd like to welcome you to 15 minutes with the captains. Okay. 15 minutes with the captains. So y'all know how the time goes. It'll take off. It's going to fly by us before we know it. So we're going to jump right into it. Uh, my subject will be unify or die. Okay. We as a people, we got to unify. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. Let's just go ahead. Y'all already know it's coming. You don't hear it, but you hear it all the time, but we have to actually manifest this scripture, okay? All right? We can't be, just be, be hearers of the word. We have to be doers of the word, okay? So my subject again is unify or die. Read. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Uh-huh. Gather yourselves together. Yea. Gather together, O nation not desired. That's right. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the nation that is not desired, okay? No one cares for you, okay? No one cares about your children, your husband, your wives. They don't care about what you're going through, okay? So we as a nation must gather ourselves together, okay, O nation not desired. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. We are that nation. They ain't going to tell you that, of course. All right? Read, uh, read it one more time. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together, uh -huh. O nation not desired. That's us. Exactly. So let's go to, uh, give me Sirach 25, uh, verse 25 and verse 1. Ecclesiasticus chapter 25, verse 1. Uh -huh. In three things I was beautified. And stood up beautiful both before God and men. Now, he said in three things, in three things he was beautified, okay? <laughs> he was set apart. Read. The unity of brethren. Uh-huh. The love of neighbors. Uh-huh. A man and a wife that agree together. Okay. There again, let's go back. Those three things. One, there it is right there. It says uh, the unity of brethren, okay? The unity of brethren. Also, the love of neighbors. Okay? The love of neighbors. Now, when we talk about neighbors, we got to clear that up, don't we? Also, we got to make sure we clear that up when we talk about the love of neighbors. Cause they think they're talking about uh, Fu Chang uh, right there on the corner or stay right beside us in the cul-de-sac, you right, know? Right. No, we ain't talking about Mr. Fu Wong Chang, okay? You go down there and get free egg rolls every now and then, think he's your neighbor. No, we ain't talking about that. We're going to show you in the scripture what does says the Lord who your neighbor is according to the Bible, okay? Because Christianity make you think that your neighbor is your actual person next door to you. No. Let's read it. Let's hear what the Lord says. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Ah, uh, rebuke thy neighbor. Correct thy neighbor, okay? We shouldn't hate each other, but we should rebuke. In other words, correct, all right? Read on. And not suffer sin upon him. I don't want to see sin upon my, my neighbor, and he shouldn't want to see sin upon me. Read on. Thou shalt not avenge, mm -hmm. nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So, wait a minute. The children of who? The children of thy people. That's your neighbor. The children of thy people. Okay? So, if you were Chinese or Moab, or, or, or if you uh, 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 Elam, East Indian... That's your people, okay? That's your neighbor. That's not my neighbor, okay? My neighbor is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, okay? It was three things that the Most High was, was beautified, both before God and man, the unity of brothers, the love of neighbors, which we just read for you out of Leviticus 19, didn't we? All yes, right? Sir. And, okay, a man and a wife that agree together, okay? When you got a man and a wife that agrees together, that's a beautiful thing, okay? You can't have one without the other because one without the other, you cannot build a nation, okay? With a man being the head, the leader, man's first, and a wife that agrees together, Okay, that's a beautiful thing because that brings forth children, okay? And bringing forth children, 
having a man and a wife in that child's life can help nourish them and grow them up to do the same thing to bring forth more nation building. Am I right? Yes, sir. So it's important, as y'all see, for the husband and the wife, okay, the brethren, okay, your neighbor, it's important for us to unify, to come together, thus says the Lord, according to the Bible, okay? There again, unify or die. It's up to you, okay? I, hey, I'm not digging ASAP. You know how he put it, you know? He said, repent or die. Well, I'm telling you, yeah, you better do that too, but I'm telling you, unify or you will die, okay? You can't do this on your own. You can't do it alone, all right? You need your people, all right? Let's go to Psalms 133, book of Psalms 133, and verse, uh, let's see, 1. Psalms chapter 133, verse 1. Uh-huh. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Man, that's what me and you doing right here together, okay? It's, it's a pleasant thing. How good. This is good, Okay. What's good is keeping these laws, statutes, commandments, okay? I'm not hating against this brother. He ain't hating against me. If if, I, if I'm out of order, this brother will, will, will uh, uh, what does it say though in Leviticus? What does it say? Not suffer sin upon him. That's right. Not suffer sin upon me. I won't be suffer sin upon him, okay? We're going to rebuke each other. That's the word I'm looking for. Rebuke each other. Correct each other, okay? So, behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together. We dwelling together, okay, in unity, just like what we read in Zephaniah 2 and 1 at the beginning of this, okay? So read that one more time. Behold. Let them, let them hear that. How good and how pleasant it is for uh -huh. brethren to dwell together in unity. In unity. There again, there's that word unity, okay? Unify, our brothers and sisters, or we're going to die, all right? Let's go to Ephesians uh, chapter 4. Go to Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 3. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 3. Uh-huh. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Wait a minute. Endeavoring to keep the unity, okay? Endeavoring, that's a verb. That's an action word, okay? To keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. I mean, this brother at peace right here, okay? You and I should be at peace, okay? That's keeping the unity in the, in the spirit, in the bond of peace. We should be in unity. Uh, matter of fact, that word endeavoring, that's not a normal word we always hear. Can you read the definition? What, what does endeavor mean? Yes, Endeavoring sir. or endeavor, okay? Definition of endeavor. Uh-huh. Try hard to do or achieve something. Try hard to do and what else? Or achieve something. Or achieve something, okay? Try hard to do or to achieve something. Also, here's another, some more I'm, I'm going to give to you. Struggle or fight vigorously, okay? Literally, you should, basically, I would lose my life trying to stay in, in, in unity with this brother, with my people, okay? That's unity. That's why I say it. Unify or die, okay? That's what exactly what I said the title of this class was, Unify or Die. So it takes us as a people to endeavor. Yeah, there are going to be some things that's going to come up, some indifferences, okay? There's going to be some trials. There's going to be some tribulations. But we can work it out, okay? We can come together. Let us reason together, okay, in the laws of God and and and. Fix this situation. Let's endeavor. Let's do all we can to let's fight vigorously. Let's make a great effort to achieve or obtain, okay, in the spirit, in the bond of peace. I ain't talking about fighting, cutting each other, cussing each other out, you know. No, I ain't talking about that. It said in the spirit. What is the spirit? Let's look up John 6 and 63. Obviously, that's something we definitely need. You know, you hear bishops say all the time, stay in the spirit, okay. What's going to help us stay in the spirit? What, what is the spirit? What's going, what's going to get us there? John chapter 6, verse 63. Uh-huh. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The spirit that quickeneth. In other words, this is the word of God that makes us alive. It's the spirit. Okay. Read on. 
the flesh profiteth nothing. Because in the flesh, man, you be fighting and cussing and throwing shoes at each other, whatever it may be, shooting and, 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 and cutting each other. Read on. The words that I speak unto you. Wait a minute. You say the what that he speak unto us? The words that I speak unto you. Just like what you read in Leviticus 19 and 17. Those are the words that he spoke unto us. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, right? Thou shalt rebuke thy neighbor, okay? Not suffer sin upon him, okay? Not bear a grudge against one another. So we have to endeavor to keep the unity of peace. And the spirit, the spirit that he's reading, and the words that he speak unto you, what? They are spirit and they are life they are spirit and they are life there again brother sister unify or die or die let me get my words right unify or die okay that's what thus says the lord pretty much saying if you don't unify you 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 operating in the flesh it ain't gonna profit you nothing okay but if you gonna obey the words of the most high god that he's speaking to us Okay, they are spirit and they are life. All praise the Most High. Okay, give me Baruch chapter 4 and verse 2. Okay, 4 and verse 2. How important this word is or walking in the spirit, keeping these laws, statutes, commandments. Okay, the book of Baruch chapter 4 verse uh -huh. 2. Turn thee, O Jacob. O children of Israel, O Jacob. That's your forefather, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, turn thee, O Jacob. O children of Israel, read on. And take hold of it. And take hold of it. What is that it we're talking about? Okay? It's the word of God. It's the words of God. It's the spirit of God that's in this Bible. Okay? Keeping these laws, statutes, commandments. Read on. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. The word is a light into my path. You remember that scripture yes, in the Psalms? Yes. All right. Uh, the light thereof. Read on. That thou mayest be illuminated. That thou mayest be illuminated. Okay. You, you know, some of y'all get caught up in all this old uh, 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 Illuminati stuff. What they call that stuff that people be getting all up and caught up in all this. Uh, you yeah, know, it's Illuminati, a word. That they, the yeah, cult. Cult. All that cult stuff. Uh, 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 cause you remember what they call all that? That stuff they be getting into. All that stuff they be getting into in the world. Okay, it's a, it's a code. That's another word I was looking for. Uh, uh, brothers get all caught, all caught up in all this old, old, all these cliches and all these hearsay stuff. They listen to everything they see and study into stuff that has nothing to do with the word of God, you know. And they get caught up in that stuff, okay. And it ain't bringing up but death, okay. It's not bringing life, all right. So, there again, let's see, where we at? Illuminated. Give me Hebrews 10 and 24. Book of Hebrews 10 and verse 24. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 24. Uh-huh. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. That's what we should be doing with our brothers and sisters, okay? That's what we should be doing, okay, to unify, all right? That we should consider one another, okay, to provoke unto love and good works, okay? I should provoke this brother in love and good works, okay, not hatred and strife. And, 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 and malice, okay? Read on. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. Now, we just talk about unified. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. That's unity, okay? Not forsaking that. We unified, okay? Yes, that's in the New Testament, too. Yeah, we read over in Zephaniah 2 and we read in the Old Testament. It's the same thing in the New Testament, all right? Assembling ourselves together what? But exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Especially as we see the last days approaching, the end time approaching, okay? We see it happening, so we should unify, okay? We should endeavor even the more, okay, in the spirit, in the, in, in the spirit of Christ, in the faith of Christ, okay? As we see the end time days approaching. Okay, give me one more. Uh, we down to our last little bit of... 15 minutes with the captain. I hope y'all enjoyed the scriptures. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Okay? And we're going to close it out with that particular scripture right there. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Uh-huh. Now I beseech you, brethren. Brethren. Read on. By the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. 
that ye all speak the same thing. Not 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 by my name, but by the by name of our Lord, the Black Messiah, the Christ, the Anointed One. Okay, that we should all speak the same thing. Read on, and that there be no divisions among you. And there be no what divisions among you. There, y'all just heard it right there. That there be no divisions among you. Read on, but. That ye be perfectly joined together. That you be perfectly joined together. What's going to perfectly join us together? Is it going to play basketball or football or, or go out here to the clubs and uh, run around whoremonging and doing everything else uh, 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 besides what the Most High God has instructed us to do? That's not going to help us, okay? We have to come together and unify uh, read on. I'm sorry. But that ye be perfectly joined together. In keeping these laws, statutes, commandments, that's how we're going to be perfectly joined together. In what? In the same mind and in the same judgment. In the same mind and the same judgment. This right here, the Bible, okay, this is what's going to join us together in that perfectness, okay, in the faith of Christ. I'm Captain Soraya again, and to my side here, Officer Eliakim. And we thank you and appreciate you joining us with 15 Minutes with the Captains. And with that, we say shalom. shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.